Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. In several recent videos, I've given an overview of the Beretta CX-4 carbine, as well as basic field strip procedures. Introduced in 2003, the CX-4 is a semi-automatic, blowback-operated, closed-bolt polymer frame carbine with futuristic styling. The design is simple and straightforward, and it was designed with being able to meet the needs of a variety of shooters. Most of the controls and features can be swapped for right or left-handed operation, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the charging handle. It can be configured for right or left-handed operation, and can even be configured for dual operation. Let's take a look. And as always the case, before working on any firearm, you want to make sure it is free and clear of all ammunition. First step will be to remove the magazine, and the magazine release is right here. You'd simply press in on that to release the magazine. So we'll go ahead and release the magazine. We can see the magazine is free and clear. Next step would be to open up the chamber area so we can see inside there. And as we can see, it is free and clear as well. You can see down, down inside there. Okay, go ahead and pop the pin open here. And slide the charging handle back. At this point, you'd be able to pull it out. You could then go to the other side and simply insert it, slide it forward, and then reassemble the firearm. And our charging handle is now on the right side. Now, conversely, that would swap it back around to the other side. If you have a secondary handle, you could at that this point slide that in on the other side and slide the bolt forward. Now you have a charging handle on both sides. They don't interfere with each other and operation is still fine. That allows right or left-handed charging. There again, you would just slide the upper and lower sections together. Put our pin in and we are reassembled. With its ease of maintenance, low recoil, and affordable ammunition, this makes a great firearm for both beginners or for those that have more experience. And as it was designed for defensive purposes, it can also fill that role. The fact it can be easily configured to suit the needs of its operator just adds to its value and versatility. I hope that this information is of value, and if you like the video, I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback, and as always, until next week, Stay safe.